Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on a skincare review about something I'm a little late to try, but it's actually something that was super popular a few years back, the Shake and Shot by Dr. Jart. So you've probably seen these before. They were really popular when they first came out and everyone was reviewing them, first impressions, first try type thing. They're kind of notorious because of the caps of them. I'll say it looks really freaky. So yeah, it does look a little creepy, but does the product work? And honestly, I really like Dr. Jart. It's one of my favorite skincare brands and I do constantly repurchase them and use their skincare in my skincare routines. I'm a big fan of their sheet masks. Um, I like their rubber mask, but these are the only masks from the line I haven't tried. And then as far as their other uh, skincare, their toners, their sleeping packs, all that I do have on hand to always use. I know a lot of people want to just try because it, it looks cool and neat, um, but the skincare itself and the formulation is also really good. The products and the ingredients are really good within their brand. I do have three right here. Uh, so the one with the blue cap is the Hydro, the one with the orange cap is the Brightening, and then the one with the purple is the Anti-Aging slash Firming. So the one I'm gonna demo and try out for you guys right now is the Hydro one, always within a line. If there's multiple types of masks, I like to try out the Hydro or the moisturizing one first, like the basic one, just to see how the formulation is. And if usually if they have a good moisturizing hydro standard mask, all the other ones, the formula is gonna work really good too. Uh, it comes with the spatula. So I'm gonna mix it up and there's no water uh, needed for this because it does come with the liquid you mix already. So when I first took this out too, these reminded me of the Dr. Jart sheet mask, the packaging, and it's really simple print with simple instructions, which I do really appreciate because it's easy to use their products. So it comes with a first step and then a second step. So the first step is the shaking rubber. So this is what's going to make the rubber mask. And then it comes with the liquid. I'm start, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the liquid to the cup. You can see the liquid in the cup is blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the second step, which is the rubber mask. This is a little goopy. A little bit more difficult to get out of the package or it just takes a little bit longer. So just make sure I get all of them and squeeze it out. So the two steps are now in here. So you use this side of the spatula, the straw side, and you mix it up. Now is the fun part where you shake it. And I'm just gonna cover the little mouth so it doesn't come out of the top. And then you just shake it. Instantly, I can feel it hardening or expanding in the bottle. Oh, moment of truth. Whoa. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it with the spatula. Goes on kind of smooth. Um, it's definitely a very like it indicates rubbery, more thicker texture. So I'm just gonna try to work quickly putting it on. I just have to really work with it, almost like you're doing frosting. <laughs> so it's all even, there's no like patches. Okay, so I tried my best to spread it as evenly as possible and then tried to use up as much of the product as I could. So they do give you a lot per cup. So the rubber mask, once you shake it, it's plenty for just a one-time use mask. I don't know if you can save this though, because it might harden, um, but next time I'll probably just use like half. So like instead of putting the full packet in, I'm probably just gonna use half and half because it does give you a lot of the mask. In the package, it does say to wait 15 to 20 minutes. So I will be back to show you guys what it looks like after 20 minutes. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks like frosting, literally looks like frosting. So it's been about 20 minutes. It doesn't really look dry, but when you touch it, no transfer. See, so I guess it's dry. So I'm gonna try to peel it off. So it's definitely the type you'll have to peel off in sections. It's not gonna come off in like one peel off type thing, which I don't mind because it's a lot more gentle than those peel off masks. It's coming off cleanly. And I can already feel my skin took it. It's feeling very hydrated. A little messy and it does take a little time to come off, but first impression, I do really like this. I think that the essence in this and the treatment 
really does put hydration back to your face just compared to when I first cleansed my skin before applying the mask to now it has plumped up the skin and then of course you have to just be a little bit careful make sure all of the little pieces are off but if you leave the treatment on your face it feels cool so my skin to the touch feels very cool and then also too um, the effect of it I can feel the hydration in my skin towards the hydration part of it and actually really plumping up your skin it does do that it's not just like a cool effect type mask and then it does nothing for your skin I can tell that the ingredients itself and the mask itself does work i'm going to just not do any other skincare today i'm going to put my makeup on top and see if it like affects the my all of my daily everyday makeup the only other skincare that i did after i did the mask was wipe it down just a little bit with a just a plain toner essence uh, just because i wanted to get off any residue that may have been left over but other than that no moisturizer no serums nothing i just wanted to put the makeup right on top of the mask so i'm able to see how it looks and i really do like it it feels very very comfortable on the skin after you take it off it doesn't leave any sticky or greasy residue the only thing that I would say too is that again the rubber does leave a little bit behind so it's just good to wipe it down just really quickly and then you can apply your makeup on top so I do think that this product does have too much for one use again i use quite a bit of it but there's still almost like a whole nother mask in here my suggestion is when you do use the packets that come with the mask is to use half of them and then just try to seal it up and then you could use the other half for another application because what comes in the packets is just way too much for one mask and if you do want to get multiple uses out of it you can't mix it up and store it because it will turn to rubber. So my suggestion is just to use half of the packs, the first and second step that it comes with. So that being said, the benefits of the Blue Hydro one is supposed to help with the dehydrated skin. It is very similar in texture, consistency, and the way it makes your skin feel as their Hydro Rubber Mask that's blue. I really am a big fan of that. The essence is a little bit thicker, but just the way it leaves your skin is almost exactly the same. But the rubber mask part of this all it is is just a little bit thinner and then the essence is within the mask you don't put the essence on top and then put the rubber on the ingredients in this are vitamin b5 to help with the skin's natural moisture barrier and then it also has amino acids to help maintain the moisture of the skin please tell you the benefits of these as well if you're more interested in using a specific concern one type like this instead of the moisturizing one uh, these two do in particular two different things the orange cap brightening one is supposed to help with dullness discoloration and scarring so the key ingredients in this are vitamin c and then c buckthorn extract or fruit extract and grape fruit extract it's supposed to help acne scars lighten hyperpigmentation overall brighten the skin and help with the texture looking for a mask to just quickly uh, lighten hyperpigmentation heal acne scars and you know smooth out the skin texture this would probably be a really good option Option. Um, it would just be a quick intense type mask. The last one I have here is the purple one. So the purple cap with the orange bottle and this is the firming anti-aging so it helps with skin elasticity skin fatigue and it's also a collagen booster so the key ingredient in this is vitamin a which is considered retinol so it's a really powerful ingredient to help with anti-aging on your skin and with wrinkles another thing that i said it had was oxyforce which is supposed to help with cell production and cell turnover and help boost the collagen production in your skin it's just a really intense anti-aging mask and you're getting that vitamin a ingredient in this uh, to help your skin. So with that being said, those are the three Dr. Jart Shake and Shot rubber masks that I wanted to show you guys today. So if you do have any questions or if you tried these out yourself, let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. Again, I am a little bit late to trying these out. I have tried many things from Dr. Jart and just for some reason, I've never gotten to these even though I've seen them for a while, um, but I'm glad I finally did. And although with the bottle does look a little bit odd and everything, the product within the bottle does really work. The skincare within the packaging is really good. So I couldn't see myself incorporating this type of rubber mask into my routine. I'm always looking for a good rubber mask and the only one that I have really found works is from Dr. Jart. So these mix-up ones are definitely a good option as well if you do like the texture of rubber masks and you do like how they perform. And again, I am a really big fan of sheet masks, but sometimes it's good to switch to rubber masks because I feel like your skin can take it and it's just a way more intense 
uh, treatments to sheet masks so I like to switch it up and I like to incorporate a rubber mask every once in a while because I do feel like it penetrates the skin way deeper and way quicker. A sheet mask you have to do like five times in a row to really see a result. Uh, rubber mask is almost like a quick result. So with that being said, don't forget to like this video for more skincare videos and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!